I bought a pair of cowboy boots called the Austin from online retailer Quero on August 22, 2019, paying $168.75, which included shipping. They arrived nicely packaged, had that manly smell of leather, and looked great. But as I examined them, I noticed this small defect. I didn't consider it too big of a deal, but I was concerned enough to contact Quero and ask about it. I didn't want to return them and felt I could take a pair of fingernail clippers and snip off this small portion, but wanted to make sure this was okay with Quero and emailed them with a picture of the defect. I received the reply the next day from Jim. Here's what he wrote. We are very sorry that you received a less than perfect pair of Quero boots. We totally understand not wanting to send them back, but we do want to make this right. So we'd like to offer you 20% back on what you paid, which comes out to a credit of $33.75. He also wrote that taking a pair of nail clippers to it should be just fine. It's simply a notch bump in the leather and clipping it off should cause no further damage to the boot. I was pleased with this and felt I received excellent customer service from them. So far, so good. Buying a pair of boots online can be a hit or miss process. Since you don't have the benefit of an experienced shoe salesperson measuring your feet, trying the boots on in the store, walking around in them, you're taking a risk. Quero understands this and offers free returns. Another nice touch. These boots fit tight on my feet when I first put them on. I can wear shoes between 10 D's or E's up to 11 E's, so I ordered 10 and a half D's. I wasn't too worried about the tight fit. I did not think they were overly tight, and realizing I would have to go through a break-in period with new leather boots, I was prepared to face a bit of discomfort while this expected break-in period lasted. I would take it slow, wearing them maybe only an hour or two every day, and letting the leather stretch slowly to my feet over a long period of time and allowing my feet tell me how much or how little I should wear them at the time. The break-in process has been tough from the start, especially in the first couple of weeks. I watched several YouTube videos and read various online articles about how other people use different methods and techniques to break their boots in. Since I live in Tucson, Arizona and our summers are hot, I thought I would put the boots outside in the sun to soften them up, then put them on so they would better mold to my feet. For this first outdoor session, I placed them in the sun for about an hour with the paper shoe trees they came with then put them on. After wearing them for about an hour or so, they hurt my feet because I purposely wore thick socks to help stretch the leather out more, so I took them off. The next day, I left them out in the sun for about the same amount of time. After putting them on again, I wanted to find out where my big toes were ending up in the toe box end of the boots. So while wearing them, I gently pressed my thumb down in the toe end of the boot to feel where my big toe ended. To my surprise, this thumb press caused a dent or a crater in the end of the boot that did not immediately spring back but remained dented in like a crater. Not only that, but the leather that formed the crater and around the crater was wrinkled and in some areas cracked. I was shocked at this, understanding that a brand new pair of leather boots should not be doing this. The dents remained until I put my hand deep into the toe end of each boot and with my finger forced the crater up. This helped, but there remained a small indentation in the toe ends. What concerned me most was that the wrinkles and cracks remained. I knew something was wrong with these boots. I have other leather shoes and much cheaper ones than these Quero boots that do not react this way when placed in the sun with pressure applied to the toe end. My conclusion 
was the boots were not made from high quality leather, but from an inferior grade, perhaps some sort of cheap leather composite that looks good on the surface, but is unable to stand up under stress or normal wear. I wasn't certain of this conclusion, so I emailed Jim again, explained what I did, what I thought, and hoping he could clear up this disappointing situation. Here is his reply. Hi Roy, leaving leather out in the sun for extended periods of time is not recommended as the sun's heat causes the natural oils in leather to evaporate, which can lead to drying out and cracking. Further, heat actually shrinks leather. Also, from the proper fit section of our FAQ page on our website, the following is noted. Do not press down on the toe area to gauge where your toes end as you might with other shoes, as this could cause damage to your boot. Our boots are made with 100% premium leather. But because of the conditions that your boots were subjected to, the resulting damage is definitely a possibility. That said, our warranty policy is, Quero warrants its products to the original purchaser against manufacturer's defects in workmanship and materials for up to one year after the purchase date. The warranty does not cover any damage due to excessive wear, abuse, or damage from external objects. If your Quero product has a defect and is under warranty, Quero will repair or replace it. In the event we are unable to repair or replace the item, Quero may issue a refund. Quero products under warranty will be replaced or repaired by Quero craftsmen from materials of equal or greater quality within 60 days of receipt of the product. Due to Quero's unique components, any work performed on your item other than Quero skilled craftsmen will render the warranty null and void. Unfortunately, we are unable to warranty your boots as they were subjected to extreme conditions that would be considered abuse or damage from external objects, i.e. the sun. I was stunned by this reply for several reasons. First, his claim that leaving leather out in the sun for extended periods of time is not recommended as the sun's heat causes the natural oils and leather to evaporate, which can lead to drying out and cracking, seems absurd. While leaving leather out in the sun for perhaps days or weeks at a time could dry it out and cause cracking and wrinkling, premium leather, like what Jim claimed the Quero boots were made of, would certainly not cause such damage after about one hour in the sun the first day and another hour in the sun the second day. Again, the suggestion is absurd on its face. Why? Because cowboy boots were originally made for cowboys who live and work in the sun all day every day in some of the harshest and most extreme desert environments in the West. If their new premium leather boots they just purchased did what mine did after two or three hours simply sitting outside in the sun and after pressing down on the toe ends, we all know what these cowboys would do with their boots. Take them back to the store they purchased them from, demand a refund, and give the store owner a piece of their mind for selling them low quality boots using seemingly deceptive advertising. Second, Quero was putting the blame for their poor quality boots on me, using the excuse that merely pushing down on the toe end of the boot could somehow cause permanent damage to a cowboy boot advertised as being made, and I quote from their website, from the highest quality materials we could find. Was I scammed by Quero? Are they guilty? of deceptive advertising? 
What kind of company would put the blame on a customer for doing something, pressing down on the toe of your boots, that probably every other boot owner in the world does with their boots? Is their warranty purposely filled with intentional escape claws, holes big enough for a herd of cattle to rush through? You will have to decide for yourself how to answer these questions. For me, I will never consider purchasing another pair of boots from Quero again. What a letdown that my first pair of cowboy boots have been a disappointment.